Hey, kids! Today we're going to draw stitch from Lilo and stitch together. Isn't that cool? Let's get started. First, we'll begin with Stitch's nose. Draw a big circle in the center of your paper. On top of the nose, add two curved lines to create those cute wrinkles that Stitch has. Next, let's move on to the eyes. First, let's create the aqua contour that Stitch has around his eyes by drawing a curved line going upwards. Then, draw another curved line going downwards. And connect these two lines at the bottom with a slightly curved line. Inside it, draw another similar set of lines for his black eye. In the top corner of the eye, Draw a small circle. Now, color the eye black, but leave the small circle blank so it looks shiny. Underneath the eye, draw a small curved line to show the wrinkle that Stitch has. Now, Let's draw the other eye on the other side of the nose. Repeat the same steps. A curved line upwards. A curved line downwards. And connect them at the bottom. Inside it, draw similar lines for the eye. Make a small circle in the top corner. And color the eye black. Don't forget the small wrinkle under this eye. Now, let's draw Stitch's mouth, which is quite big. Start under the eye by drawing a curved line that goes right under his nose. Then down to the other side. For the lower part of the mouth, draw a curved line from one side to the other. and a small line on both corners of the mouth. Now, the teeth. Draw a little triangle along the top of the mouth. And at the bottom too. Inside the mouth, draw the tongue by making a curved line from the side to the middle. And the same on the side. Time to draw the lower part of Stitch's face. Start at the side of the mouth and draw a curved line downward. From one side to the other.
Now, draw the sides of the face with curved lines that go up to the side of the eyes. For the top part of the head, start above one eye and draw a curved line upwards to the top of the head. Here, draw three tufts of fur using short lines that go up and down. Then, complete the other side of the head with a curved line down to the other eye. Above each eye, draw small curved lines to make the eyebrows. Now, it's time to draw Stitch's ears. On the side of the face, at the level of the mouth, draw a curved line that goes up. Turns around, and goes down. Here, add a notch in the ear by drawing a sideways V. Continue the curved line until it meets the side of the face. Now, draw a curved line on both sides to complete the ear. Repeat the same steps for the other ear. An upward curved line. A turn. A downward curved line. A sideways V. And continue the curved line to complete this part of the ear. Now, finish the ear with a curved line on both sides of the ear. Great job! You've drawn Stitch's face. Let's move on to the body. Underneath the face, draw a small curved line for one shoulder and a curved line for the arm. Draw the inside of the arm by making a line that goes to the side and then down. For the fingers, draw little loops. On each finger, add two curved lines that meet at the tip to form the claws. Repeat these steps for the other side. A small curved line for the shoulder. A curved line for the outside of the arm. Another curved line for the inside. Little loops for the fingers. And the claws. Next. Draw a curved line below the face on both sides. And continue these lines under the arms. Adding a curve at the bottom. Then, Draw a curved line for the lower part of the body. Now, 
Let's draw the side of the body. Make a small curved line that begins on the top of the arm and continues under the arm. Do the same on the other side. It's time for the legs. Start on the side of the body and draw a curved line downward. Draw a small line for the inside of the leg. And add a curved line for the paw. Now, add four little loops for the claws. Repeat the same steps for the other leg. A curved line downward. A small line for the inside. A curved line for the paw. And loops for the claws. Stitch is ready. Now it's time to color him. As you know, Stitch has three shades of blue. Light. Medium. And dark. He also has two shades of pink, light and dark. Let's color. Our drawing is complete. Stitch is ready for his adventures with Lilo. I hope you had fun drawing Stitch with me. If you want to draw Lilo, visit our channel. See you soon. Bye.